Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Omar Altwini and today I'm going to talk about a very important topic that will focus on missing data and what the imputation techniques of the data using our environment. At the end of this video, we will understand what's the meaning of no data or missing data in our data set. Worth to mention that this video is not for only the GIS users, but it is most general topic for most of the people who are working on the data or statistical data or attributes, tables. So this topic will be really, will be focused and cover a lot of aspects for most of the users. We will learn how to effectively impute missing data and to learn the common methods for that imputation. Also become familiar with the data uncertainty sources. Then you will be able to decide wisely and scientifically which is the best imputation method that is suitable for your data. Now let's talk about missing data and what is the missing data. So usually when you start to work, first you start to collect the data from different data sources. Some of them will be government data sources, some of them will be uh, private agencies. You will notice that some attributes like in the table here, you see when you are getting this data, you download this data, you see there are some gaps in the attributes. Then you think that, oh, what should I do here? What should I put inside those issues? Some of them maybe one cell, some of them 10 cells. Sometimes or most of the times if you have a date data here, so you have a monthly or daily So whenever you have a hourly data, you will see there are too many missing data So we will try to say okay, I will take a daily data then I will avoid this problem But the problem is still there because you still have a missing data within our record so then people start to blot the data and they get shocked that there is no continuity in the not. So if you notice here on the left side hand, we have a, a blot data with the date, but we'll see here the missing data. You notice here we have almost two years missing data. And you see here, so some quick solution. They will try to take a linear relationship between the last point and the starting point from the following data set, which is Logically, if you notice here how is the trend and behavior of this line, it definitely won't follow this linear relationship. So, what's the common ways of solving this problem in a better way, in more scientific way? So, in this video, I will show you some techniques that is really useful and you can rely on them to reduce some of the missing data. Worth to mention that Missing data or no data, this is one of the main sources of the uncertainty. Uncertainty will start from the missing data or the unknown data resources. So whenever you are not sure about the data, at the same time, if you have a missing data, you don't expect a high accuracy level of your model in the end of the story. So keep your eyes on this small aspects and we will count on them step by step during the video.